migrant women workers, many of whom are working in our care homes and our hospitals, in jobs vital to our economy and for our well-being, are often on poverty pay, with insecure employment, working with greater risk of exposure to the virus, without safe working conditions or access to equipment that protects their health. It can be hard for them to raise concerns or speak out about unsafe working conditions, because many have no recourse to public funds, meaning they can't access our social security system, a safety net that is, in the current context of a global pandemic, a vital protection for workers. Without it, migrant women workers are more vulnerable to exploitation, unfair treatment, discrimination and abuse. Because employers know no work means no income, with nowhere to go for help. And that leaves women with a stark choice. Keep working and risk their lives, or risk falling into poverty, destitution and homelessness. And that's no choice at all. No one's human rights should be trumped by their migration status. It's time to scrap NRPF.